What's up guys and welcome to Trine Enchanted Edition. This is a game available now on the PlayStation 4 as of December 23rd, 2014 for $14.99. A remake or remastered edition of the original Trine. You might have known that earlier in the PS4's life cycle back in 2013, Trine 2 released for the PlayStation 4, but now you can get the complete pack as Trine 1 is now available on the PlayStation 4 via the Enchanted Edition. This is pretty nice if you haven't played the original trine. But let's head into a level and I'll talk a little more about the game. Alright then, so we're into the game here. Think of trine as a three-person puzzle platformer game. That's sort of weird, you know? It's like a lot of online multiplayer games, or just multiplayer games in general, they usually focus four players, but this game focuses three. So at a maximum, you can have three people playing either on the couch or online. So if you want a fun little puzzle platformer that'll be fun to play with your family or your friends for the holidays, um, this is a good one to do. I would really suggest it. Trying to is also good, and you can buy them as a bundle, I think, for $30, $29.99 USD. But this game really does look nice. Graphic it's an incredibly impressive game, and it's running at 1080p at 60 frames a second. But how is the gameplay? Basically, we have three characters. We have the mage, who is all about his puzzling aspects to him, and he like makes blocks and stuff, and he can levitate things, and that's very helpful for getting by most of the platforms. Not only that, but we also have the rogue, or the thief, I guess you could say. She's very agile, she does a lot of platforming, she has a bow and arrow, which can be good for these distanced enemies, but when it comes to enemies, you want to play as the warrior, because he has a sword and shield and he has also defense so it's like for these fireballs up here we can <laughs> fall all the way down though we can go back up there and we can use the shield oh come on you know the deal though we can use the shield to block the uh fireballs we can also use the uh the the mages uh what's it called <laughs> The mage's uh, cubes that he spawns, but basically he's good for defense, he's good for battling the large majority of enemies, but I'm just so bad at the game apparently all of a sudden, it's it's been a long day I guess, but the game itself is so beautiful, atmospherically the animations are perfect, the dialogue between characters is always funny and the story is nice, basically we had three people, these three people, going for treasure and... And then they get it, ended up touching the trine, which forged their souls together, which is why they sort of are only one entity at a time. Now, of course, when you are playing together with another person, they are also on screen. Okay, let's get you out of the way. I have yet to play with anybody on the PS4 version, but I have played trine with other people via the PC version before, and it was an ecstatically fun experience. Overall, I most definitely do recommend this game just because it's really fun and really enjoyable. Oh gosh. I do want to recommend if you have not played Tried and if you have other methods on to play the game, I would suggest just keeping to that. There is not any added content to this game. It is still the same amount of levels that we have had in the original Trine. It's just on the PS4 with 1080p graphics and 60 frames per second. If you are looking for new content, then I wouldn't suggest it because there isn't any. Alright, let's switch to the rogue here, take out this big mean boss, come on, get out of here buddy, oh, okay, there we go, got him good, and you can see there the enemies are extravagant, the world is beautiful, it's such a pretty game, and trying to looks just as good if not better, it's it's just awesome, it's really cool to get the bundle if you haven't diverged into the game yet, we're gonna open up this chest, and if we press our little touchpad button, we can see we have sort of a level up station, we don't have any points right now, but basically we can level our characters up if we unlock more experience, so it sort of has an RPG ex like expansion style things here with our level tree, which is actually only three spaces for each character, but it's a very, very small level tree. Not only that, but we can use the touchpad to aim. As you can see, I'm using the touchpad to uh, sort of aim these arrows and hopefully take him out before he takes me out. The only difficult part is that he doesn't, like, to let go like of the arrow, I need to let go of the touchpad. What I'd rather it be is clicking the touchpad. I just feel like that would feel a little more satisfying. But you can see there's these green bottles, which are experience. They're scattered all over the place, and it's really satisfying to try to collect them. We actually missed one over there. Let's see if we can't go over there. Hmm, that is way up there. I wonder how we're getting that. Hmm, maybe if we tw switch to the magician and then pick this guy up. Hmm, and maybe I can just sort of push it over here to my to me. Come on, come to me. No, it's not working. Okay, then, hmm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. If there's a will, there's a way, but I'm not good enough at the game to find out. But yeah, it's a fantastic pla platformer to play with your friends and family, on the couch or online. It really works well with both. And I just, I, I feel like one of the selling points for the game, for me, is just how beautiful it is. It's such a pretty game, and that's really astonishing for just a, you know, a simple 2D platformer 
like this. All right, then let's head on up here and we'll get some enemies to take out. So let's uh, switch to you and knock him off. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's not quite dead. Come on, come on. Ooh, there we go, got him good. And, that, and it's just like every aspect of each character is fun. There's something to enjoy out of all, each three of them and each three is useful to play. Each one has, you know, objectives that ne they need to do. It does definitely in the difficult side at times. I always have some issues with it, but maybe I'm just bad at the game. Oh, yep, definitely bad at the game. But either way, Trying to Chant in Edition is really cool and definitely a great one to pick up for this holiday season if you're looking for something to play with your family and friends. And it's really good for only $14.99. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. You can find the game in the link in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family because this war truly does help. I'm with a comment in the comment section below. What do you think about Trying to Chant in Edition? Have you played Trying before and you plan on getting this one? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.